Hello and welcome back. This is problem D, knapsack 1 from at Coda Education TP contest. The problem states that there are n items numbered from 1 to n, and for each item i between 1 and n, the ith item has weight wi and value vi. Taro has decided to choose some of the n items and carry them home in a knapsack. The capacity of that knapsack is capital W, which means that the sum of the weights of the items that is taken must be less than equals to w and for particular set we need to find the maximum possible sum of values of items that can be taken by tarot the constraints for n w and the values and weights are as follows now let's look at some of the observations First, let's try to understand what we are trying to construct. We are given n items. From 1 to n. Let's say these are the sequence. And each of them has a weight and a value associated with it and since Taro is going to select some of them the ordering does not matter let's say he selects these green ones that means he is going to choose a subset of items and if this subset is chosen that is what the construction of a valid choice denotes and the way in which we can select a subset from a sequence of items is by storing the index of choices whether we want to consider this or not so we will start choosing this subset from left to right let's say we ask whether we want to choose the first item in the subset or not so we have we must store what is the index that we are currently at so this is what should be stored in the state and also we need to know what is the sum of values that we have already taken so since the weights of items that we have taken must be less than equals to w this condition we must also know if we have chosen some of the items let's say we have chosen this green ones and we want to make a choice for this index then we must know what are the values of our already chosen items which is w2 plus w3 plus w5 in this case w2 plus w3 plus w5 in this case so that this value is less than equal to the knapsack capacity hence it is important to store the sum of weights of taken items So these are the two important states that we need to store in the recurrence so that at each choice we can determine whether that particular item is to be chosen or not. Since we are constructing a subset, a subset is determined by two choices either to take a particular index in the subset or don't take. So these are the two possible choices at any state index id and let's say small w as the weight sum of weights of items that we have already taken which would be sum of values of items denoted in the green sorry sum of weights of the items next up we need to understand what we are actually evaluating here so since we want to find out the 
maximum sum of values of items whose sum of weights is at most if i is a chosen item in the subset then this value is less than equals to capital w this is the constraint that we need to follow and since this is a sum of values then our return type should be sum of vi's of a subset valid subset and that validity is determined by this condition above hence whatever our recurrence relation that we are going to write it must return the sum of values of items in that subset now let's try to understand the recurrence relation let's say go of id since we already know we need to store two states in the recurrence these one hence the the first state being the index of item that we need to consider from left to right and the sum of weights let's say sum of weights of items that we have already considered then that we saw that uh, there were two choices and we need to take maximum of between them the first being either to take the item with index id in the subset if it is taken we gain a value of this amount and if we don't take we don't gain any value that means the value will be zero now the first state is to consider this and next state that we can go over or make choices is from index id plus one and since we have taken this in the subset our sum weight would be increased by the weight of that particular item so some weight would now become the previous chosen plus the weight of that item and if that the second choice is to don't take in that case we will again start making the choices from index id plus one uh, but in this case we since we did not consider it the sum of weights remain constant there is one base condition that needs to be handled here uh, this value could exceed w which is the knapsack capacity so we need to handle that explicitly so whenever we reach state whatever be the index and let's say s is the sum of weights that we have considered if s is greater than w that means it is a invalid choice of items that we have considered and we must return a invalid value which would be since we are maximizing this we should return a minus infinity from this state so that the entire summation boils down to a minus infinity and that choice is not considered in the answer yep, that's it about this this is the entire recurrence relation which will help us solve the problem now let's go over the c++ implementation using tau to an approach we input n and the knapsack capacity which is w next we will implement uh, input weight and value for n items we start the recurrence by saying that we have n items so this is one convention you can also solve the problem from left to right from i to i plus one i plus one to i plus two and so on but in this case i have used a opposite approach from index i am considering from right to left and this was the value that was available or the capacity 
uh, since the recurrence mentioned that we need to store the sum of weights but the implementation is uh, slightly different we store what is the weight available So initially the knapsack was empty, hence the entire of the weights could be filled in this. So the capacity is as it is given to the state of the function. Next up, this is the remaining weight which can be put in the knapsack. So this is what the state of the function denotes. The remaining space in the knapsack is remain which is the second state of the recurrence function this is the index if we put in more items whose weight is greater than the knapsack capacity in that case we return minus infinity else if we find a valid subset for which the knapsack is full or we have exhausted the number of items that are available to us since we are solving this from left right to left so eventually we are going to end up at index 0 which is which denotes that there is no more item available for us to consider so considering from id to i plus 1 id minus 1 so on we will arrive at index 0 in that case we say that we have no more items to consider and whatever we have considered is a valid choice and you need to maximize the answer over those this is for memoization check whether this state is already visited if it is visited we can simply return the answer then without recomputing the first choice is to take the item in the subset in that case the value added would be the value of that item and the next choices that we can make are from indices the previous indices which is item minus one and since we have taken this item in the subset the capacity of knapsack now reduces so initially it was this much now we have considered this item which had weight of this amount hence the capacity now reduces to this which is the remain minus the weight of that item this was when we considered that item in the subset if we don't consider that item in the subset nothing would be added and we will continue making choices from index id minus 1 with the same capacity remaining in the knapsack and we will minimize maximize the answer over these two choices and return from the function this will give us the final answer the time complicity for this approach is as follows so this is the index and it can take order n values and this is the capacity of knapsack hence it can take order w values the transitions are only two hence it is constant time operation transitions and the overall time complexity is order n times w that's it about this video if you found this useful or if you have any doubts or suggestions do let me know in the comments thank you